pleasure and a little bit of nostalgia that we gather here today to commemorate a significant milestone in the history of our transit system. Today marks the retirement of BART's legacy rail car fleet, an occasion that signifies the end of an era and the beginning of a new chapter in our transit journey. For 52 years, these iconic rail cars have faithfully served and, and become an integral part of the daily lives of countless individuals. Through rain or shine, day or night, these rail cars have witnessed the ever-evolving landscape of our Bay Area region. I rode on BART here this morning and I met somebody who flew in last night from New York just to be here. So let me say, how many of are you are transit enthusiasts? Today, you're not going to see a legacy car in service, and with a few exceptions, most of our 669 legacy cars are being shredded and recycled. The steel, aluminum, and copper are pulverized into tiny pieces and sent all over the world to build new things. Things like airplanes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was doing so good. Okay, now we're getting the rest. Things like airplanes, home appliances, electronics, and rebar for critical tra infrastructure and transportation projects. Each car yields 22 tons of metal. We have a video of the decommissioning and recycling process on our YouTube page, and I just want to tell you to watch it. Alicia did me no favors, okay? All right, but several cars are not being shredded. are saved for preservation. A few years ago, we held a call for proposals to give the cars a second life. Many of the people getting those cars are here today and will share the details of their projects. Perhaps most important is the Western Railroad Museum. They, they will be the final resting place to leave three legacy cars for the public to visit for years to come, and you'll hear more about them today. The Legacy Fleet was here when we opened. What year did we open? I just have you guys come up here and have these talk with you too. They, they were here, the cars that were retired right here now today were here when we opened the system in 72. They were here when Loma Flata earthquake hit in year 89. And it was barred. It was Bart who kept the Bay Area moving after that earthquake, and it was those cars that were retiring. Just awesome. They were here when we carried our highest ridership event, which was? World Series 2012 with the Giants, almost 600,000 trips. A few of the perks, right? Who can, who can forget the biggest quirk? Anybody the biggest quirk of the Legacy Fleet? Go ahead. When it fell off the tracks at Fremont. Yeah. The Fremont Fly, right? I wasn't even born yet. Yeah. Man. Yes, the Lava Wheels. Yes, the Lava Wheels. We're still working on that. Um, how, about the, how about the retro sheet company that we had in those yeah. really close? bold statement to the 1970s disco era, but you know, it's a quirk that we've all at some level loved and then learned to hate, huh? How about the, how about the shape of the front of the car? Right? Like we're going into space. Um, <laughs> but look, you know, every family member's got a little bit of quirk, but every family member is a beloved family member of Bart. And we are here to honor them um, as we have this last ride into the future with our legacy fleet. And together we are going to uphold what these legacy cars have started with BART for the next 50 years with the fleet of the future. And we hope to see everyone. Uh, I'm here today, not just as the chief of police of the BART Police Department, but as a BART rider. And my entire family are BART riders. Uh, in fact, I'm a lifelong BART rider, a first day BART rider. 
That puts me in very special company. I was not yet three years old when my parents and grandparents, and my parents who are here today with me, Mom, always remember to thank Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. My parents and grandparents took me to Park's opening day, and we boarded what were then brand new cars. That's a picture of me standing up. There is a picture of me standing on the platform at the Fremont station pointing at the shiny new train. That first trip on, on Bart hooked me as a Bart rider for life. That, that is part of the reason why I came back here to Bart as a Bart police officer. I want to thank all of my team at the police department. Uh, we will also be the home of the final three Bart cars to be reserved for public display an A car, a B car, and a C car. With these cars, we will tell the story of a new generation of electric railway transportation. These cars designed with a clean slate and a hunger for innovation were once the world's most advanced transit vehicles. A 30-year week of technology, true transit pioneers. Innovations included everything from automatic train control and propulsion systems, and even the human details, such as the streamlined hard glass cab and bolt carpeting. With so many of these innovations, systems across the world turned to BART to see what they could do to meet the challenges of the modern age. After 50 years of service, revenue service, we have reached the end of the line. Of these 669 cars, only a handful will find new lives. Three of these cars and many other artifacts will enjoy a final retirement at the Western Railway Museum starting in June of 2024. I drove these trains, I love these trains, I'm going to really miss these trains. So thanks for being out here. What a nice city. You can help us in our preservation effort. You can help by donating or even purchasing a train operator council. The very councils that he operated. You can please talk to our volunteers for more details. And perhaps one day, many years away, we'll once again meet to preserve the freedom that you should. But before that, we look forward to seeing you at the Western Railway Museum soon, located at Leo Vista Junction. You soon enjoy the cars that forever change the face of public transit. And uh, way back around 2017, I was riding on board, looking out the window. I was wondering, uh, they're replacing these uh, old trains. Well, what are they going to do with them? So I was going to build something fun. And so we kept an eye out. We, we kept our grid to the track, so to speak. And so for my project, as you may have seen on these windows below, my wife and I were going to build a house with one of the old Legacy Bar train cars. And uh, we're also going to, I think the fun part is, we're going to open it up so that it can be a vacation rental, so that everyone can experience it as well.
72. Today we'll be closing out a major chapter in Martin history as these trains will leave our system for good, leaving behind a 52-year legacy of service to the Bay Area. Thank you for joining us and riding with us today. Why do they have to hang it's going